computer. Let's go live. Okay, I think we are live. I'm just waiting for my computer here. It's a little bit delayed today. And I'm coming off the screen off my computer, which obviously always gives me this orangey tinge. So, okay. Yep, mom, we're live. <laughs> awesome. Welcome, gorgeous humans and beautiful souls. I'm Eva Lucas. And I'm Alicia Lucas Hall. And we are coming to you from the Crystalline Ascension Mystery School Temple. And today we're going to be speaking about rebirthing your soul blueprint so if you're watching live do say hello in the comments and if you're watching the replay do let us know in the comments with hashtag replay this is episode five of sacred soul sparkles which is a divine series where we are speaking into new ways of creating spiritual luxury in your inner and outer worlds beautiful beautiful timing it is now exactly one 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 here yeah. in canada est <laughs> so the soul blueprint is it's really about the sacred ascension cycle of renewal and rebirth i was receiving a lot of uh frequencies about this this month being the renewal and rebirth especially this week so energetically speaking we rebirth higher versions of ourselves yes and yeah. we are really connected, some of us are really connected to our divinity and to our highest or our future selves, right? And we are desiring to bring this into our physical human vessel and embody these higher versions of ourselves and these higher vibrational frequencies into our body. So when we look at your soul blueprint, and for today, we invite you to see it as its own consciousness. Right. And some of you are really connected with your soul blueprint. But each time that you are stepping up and rebirthing into a higher aspect of yourself, your blueprint is remaining the same. So I'm just going to give a little metaphor as best as, uh, as I can. Imagine your blueprint as a building and you keep filling it with people who are way too big, too tall to even fit inside of the building. So the building says, nope, can't come in. You're too tall, you're too shiny, you're too powerful. So, because if you come in, my building may wobble and sometimes even the wires may burst or fuse out. So this is when it feels like on a physical level, when you cannot embody a higher frequency or you cannot fully embody um, higher versions of yourself or your multidimensional aspects of yourselves, okay? Because your blueprint, your temple of light cannot hold this powerful and potent essences and coding. It feels too new to your blueprint, right? But know that a higher version of your blueprint that we like to call the crystalline legacy blueprint is waiting for you from the higher realms of consciousness, and it's desiring to emerge into this reality so that you can rise into your inner temple of light. So you can become your highest embodied sacred creatrix human self. And from that, you become that beautiful divine lighthouse shining so ever so brightly, illuminating your primordial lineages which is your multidimensional essences, your ancient wisdom, all of your higher versions of yourselves, and you're illuminating your light. And of course, you're illuminating your legacy. So the crystalline legacy blueprint really activates and unlocks multiple versions of yourselves. Would you agree, mom, that it unlock not just one? <laughs> it, oh, yeah. It unlocks oh, yeah. a lot, right? Yeah, so definitely. Um, we've experienced uh, primordial ancient lineages come through that um, supporting the planet as we're guided. And we're speaking about what comes through is, and who we're connecting with are the ones of the original tribes, the original clan mothers, the creatrixes of planet earth, the gatekeepers, the key holders, um, beings that are the essence of the original harmonics of earth. 
These are the women. These are the souls or the humans that are connecting with us that we work with because we find that they're very sacred, potent, powerful, who've been here from the beginning when earth was just a thought. So this are, these are the souls that are connecting with us. So if you're really feeling this in your heart, really tune into this frequency because you were aligned here to speak with us or to connect with us today for a reason, right? Yeah, <laughs> all right and as, as you were saying that, I was bringing, there was a beautiful vision of all these beautiful souls being birthed into earth and just for to do this journey and now to remember everything that they are and just to start flowing it and bringing it all back in, inside of them. And basically, I'm going to share a bit about how it changed us. And I've made a little note, so I'm going to be uh, checking out my notes because I want, want to make sure that I hit them. So we had potent, noticeable changes in our manifesting skills, right? New people were reaching out to us of their interest in receiving their transformations and what that they wanted to know basically what that looked like. We created, not created, but it was to like downloads, new mindsets, new stories, and they, it, I don't know if you notice now, Alicia, how easily that they're coming now. They're coming in more simply, more naturally. And, and really old threads are really just like fading away from us. It's like, we don't even have to try anymore. Like they just fade away. And our new mindset is just really growing and evolving uh, as we move forward. Yeah, when so, you, sorry, I was gonna say, when you're speaking about that mom, what I saw, it's almost as if we've unlocked a, a gateway, a pathway for them to see us now where before right. we were may have been invisible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And uh, what's important is we became important to us, right? And we started witnessing our empowerment developing and quickly old modalities were, uh, and the need for more programs, more books and misaligned support, it really started to fade away. And it really paved the way to the desire of our inner leadership our inner personal growth and responsibility, right? We had to really start taking personal responsibility. And we began to, um, you know, that old saying, there's that old saying that we have to become the CEOs of our life, of our business. And this is basically the turn that it was really taking inside of us in a natural, organic, authentic way. Our visibility took a turn, right? Our confidence rose. We claimed who we are in both the galactic dimension and all the dimensions in between. And our relationships with Gaia became more alive. And the inner true calling, the desire to create this more heaven on earth flourished and new programs were birthed through us and through the divine, both from the uh, Gaian collective and the Gal uh, galactic collective. So I'm going to speak about um, my lighthouse vision. So the lighthouse really appeared to me as, um, as a metaphor, like because I'm a vision person. So a lot of things come to me, and then I have to see what it's a metaphor for. So as I meditated and spoke with the lighthouse, it really showed me that the structure of how sturdy it was, and the base was strong and powerful. And it, what it was is that the lighthouse re represented the spine. So imagine that the, the spine in you and the, the thick concrete was your foundation, whether it was in your personal life or what, whether it's in your business life, but that's what it was representing to me. And the light was restructuring of the pineal gland. It is also represented the personal, the soul and the, the business can walk through any storm, right? Because that's what the lighthouse is there for, is to shine the light when the, the, the fog comes in, when the denseness comes in, with, when the, the turbulent storms come in, so that people could find their, their way home. So, and basically it just came like, it was like a direct contact with inside of me. And the lighthouse is the foundational leaders or foundational pillars, the foundational creatrixes who are here to co-create a new realm of consciousness, a whole new world. So imagine, so the vision I have, how I view the lighthouse, let me bring you through a vision. Imagine if you became the lighthouse. Feel into the structure of your beingness and really feel the deep, deep groundedness 
of your body. And this can represent you or it could represent your business and how you received all the required foundational pieces, right? Because as we work through years and years, we received so many of the foundational pieces and now we were able to put it together and we're standing strong and we're standing confident with your spine erect and it flows up to your pineal gland and it, you infuse the light of the lighthouse into the pineal gland. And as you look on your path, this inner light guides you. How much more empowered do you feel when you're standing up erect and the light from your pineal gland is paving the way forward for you? Imagine being on the edge of the mountain or the sea and cast your light beyond the horizon. And you notice that your light is touching, connecting with other lighthouses all around the world. And what do you feel? What do you notice? Do you feel more focusedly alive? Do you more, feel more alive and connected with other soul members and lighthouses? And if you had to grasp, not grasp, I don't want to even say that word. What, what is one golden nugget shining from your inner lighthouse that you could actually reach out right now and receive it and bring it into your, your whole body structure, into your lighthouse, and then move forward with it today? Right, and that's basically what I've been working with, Alicia's been working with, as we come together, we are going into these shape-shifting adventures and seeing what divine downloads come for us, come to us. Yeah. Share in the comments below if anything came through for you. Yeah, definitely, that was very beautiful. So what that blueprint does is allows you to open up those streams of consciousness allows you to bring in and embody that beautiful um, shining uh, light that a lighthouse has, right? Definitely. So we have created a journey for these powerful women, entrepreneurs, leaders, and visionaries who are here to create that soul aligned legacy impact, who are here to receive their upgraded or their new crystalline legacy blueprint. Uh, so they can embody their next sacred prim primordial and their galactic version of themselves and really uh, stepping it up at this moment in time. So the, the crystalline legacy blueprint unlocks the keys to your legacy, which is a combination of your magic your medicines, your masteries, and your missions. It's like that metaphor that we shared before, I think. It was these sacred soul sparkles are the raindrops, right? And then the, the wiring of the umbrella are all those missions that you are to kind of uh, go on to take you to the top, to weave your legacy, which is the tip top of that umbrella that is shining so so brightly there. And what we've created was is, is that is, <laughs> I can't even speak, is it, facilitated through a beautiful 33-day journey where you are held in the vortex of light with Eva and I to truly, really let go in a way of your old soul blueprint, but keeping, keeping all your treasures that you've gathered, all your lessons, and really birth into a new blueprint that brings and activates or unlocks a sacred legacy. So it then really unlocks all the codings, the frequencies, and I feel it unlocks a map, right, mom, um, to create that legacy impact, right? I feel that it creates um, clarity, I guess you could say, from that. So that map is creating that clarity, just knowing and, and just being guided by your heart and, and knowing what the next steps are, are really great because you have a deeper connection with your higher selves, with your legacy. And from there, Eva and I actually translate your sacred soul legacy into a business legacy for you. So then that way you are not only weaving on a soul level energetically, something's going on, I can hear it on my end, but you are... Uh, weaving it on a physical level for your business legacy, all from 
the highest level of your truth, of your wealth, and of your sovereignty. So if this is speaking to you, if any of it's speaking to you, the lighthouse metaphor, the new blueprint, weaving a sacred legacy, wanting the desire to embody more of your multidimensional essences, uh, your sacred ess essences, unlocking your primordial lineages and your codings and frequencies, message us today or, or connect with us or, or just get on a call uh, with us together as we are actually in at this moment in time, in a space and a time of what we call divine timing, to really rebirth into your highest authentic self, your, your higher creatrix self, and your highest legacy leader self. So, um, mom, if there's anything else you want to um, share into that? <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of beautiful gems coming forward, and, you know, whether they work with us or they work or they find somebody else to work with, but I'm really just seeing a lot of beautiful gems finding themselves and, uh, you know, coming out to shine their light with us or with the world. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Well, thank you again for joining us uh, live or watching the replay and much love until we meet again. Bye for now. Bye for now. Uh, hold on guys. <laughs> This time I'm not seeing where I can end my live, <laughs> just so you oh, know. They want us to 